Hello and welcome to Border Gateway Protocol Tutorial. In this video, we will learn and analyze VGB packet using Wireshark. To start with, assuming you have already captured a VGP packet, the first step what we'll do will filter out all the VGP messages. So in filter, we will type VGP and say apply. Doing this, it will bring only the BGP packet in the Wireshark. The second step, what we'll do, we'll click on Analyze and we'll say Decode as and look for BGP. And say Apply. Okay. So doing this, we'll decode all the BGP packet with the BGP plugin enabled in the Wireshark. So to begin with, start with BGP definition. So BGP is border gateway protocol and it's a routing protocol and it is used in exchanging the network layer reachability information between the routing domain. So when we say BGP, we are referring to BGP version 4. We can see in this packet all the message transmission is happening over the TCP with the default port 179 so this is quite unusual because all the routing protocols either run directly on top of IP or either uses UDP so BGP is the exception in this scenario BGP supports four types of messages messages open message keep alive message update message and notification message and it is defined in the RFC 1771 we will see open message packet of IPv4 first then we will go for IPv6 so when we see border gateway protocol open message means uh, uh, this type of message is used to set up initial bgp connection so when a tcp connection is established the first message sent by the each side is open message if this message is uh, go through proper a keep alive message Uh, confirming the open is sent back okay so if you decode further uh, the open message what what is in the open message so it has field like uh, my as okay so this is a two octet unsigned integer that indicates it's autonomous system number of the sender so 65001 is the AS of the sender it has the hold hold time this is a two octet unsigned integer this is the BGP identifier uh, it's a four octet unsigned integer it indicates that uh, uh, identifier of the sender and it has optional parameter length and optional parameter where it is defined the capability of the BGP system. So next message we will see what is an update message. Uh, update message is used between peer to exchange uh, network layer reachability information. So update message also used to transfer the routing information between BGP peers. So this information is used to construct graph uh, that will describe the relationship between uh, various autonomous systems. So you can see the path attribute and the network layer reachability information. So if you see the IPv6 update message, so here the attribute MP underscore reach underscore NLRI is used. 
so ipv6 routes are carried as separate address family inside this attribute for ipv6 this attribute you will use mp underscore reach underscore nlri so let us see what other attribute of the update message you have path attribute under path attribute we have uh, defined as origin so this is a mandatory uh, field it will say the origin of the path either igp egp or incomplete so in this case the origin is igp interior gateway protocol next one is as path this is also a mandatory attribute then we have next hop another mandatory attribute it will define the ip address of the router that should be used then we have multi exit disk so this is the one optional attribute like this we have uh, another uh, all the other optional attributes will be here we have also a notification message uh, message from between the bgp when any error condition is detected uh, in this case the bgp connection will close immediately after it will send uh, the last message is a keep alive message so this message will will be exchanged periodically between pairs of peers to keep the session up saying saying this the keep alive will not, uh, bjp will not use any tcp based keep alive mechanism to determine the peers are reachable instead of this it will use keep alive message are exchanged between peers so we have hold timers how long the message will flow between the peer and if you see the information it will only contained 19 octets so this is the small demonstration of the wireshark border gateway protocol apart from this bjp is a finite state machine it has its own uh, life cycle of the state like it will start from idle connect active open set and open confirm establish thanks for watching the video if you have any question or doubt do let me know i will try to answer over the comment and don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you very much